Hello, for this example problem we have a disc sander. Uh, it's being pressed down against a wooden surface, as kind of shown in this diagram, uh, with a force of 50 newtons. Um, and we're assuming that this disc on the bottom of the sander is going to be spinning around. There's going to be some sort of friction force uh, that's going to cause a moment. And so we need to, we're going to have the friction force causing a moment, uh, opposing the motion, and what's driving it is actually the motor and the disc sander itself. So we want to find the torque that the motor must exert to keep the uh, disc sander going at a constant rate, uh, kind of overcoming the, the friction force and balancing out with that. Um, so with this, we've got a solid circular contact area. And so if I draw that out right here, um, I know that that contact area is 0.2 meters in diameter, so it's got a radius of 0.1 meters. Uh, and I'm going to have um, some force driving it, and what I need to find first is the moment that the friction force exerts resisting motion. And so that moment, uh, we're going to use our equation, the moment due to friction uh, is again for a solid circular area is going to be two thirds times the kinetic coefficient of friction times the load force times the radius uh, of our disk, our circular area. Um, so, kind of plug in values at this point. Uh, our mu k is given to us in the problem, the static, or sorry, the kinetic coefficient of friction, because these two things are sliding relative to one another, uh, is 0.6. That has no units. Uh, the load force is going to be 50 newtons. And that is the force that I'm pressing down on the disc sander with, disc sander with uh, or the normal force between those two surfaces. Uh, and the radius of our circular area is 0.1 meters. Um, so, <clears throat> multiplying all these things together, the moment due to friction is going to be equal to uh, 2, and the units are newton meters. And so that is the moment due to friction, uh, and the moment that the motor needs to exert uh, to kind of keep it at a constant rate, it needs to be equal and opposite. Um, so T motor is also going to be equal to the friction due to, or moment due to friction, which is equal to 2 newton meters. And with that, we've solved our problem. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.